Hey tonight, everybody. I uh, just want to let you know this is a new segment I'm going to try and do for y'all. It's called Barracks Cooking with the Mustang. How you doing? I'm Mustang. What's going on? All right, look. I'm over in NAS Ocean, and I'm living inside a barracks, all right? And I, I love to cook. So this one goes out to anybody that's in the military that loves to cook as much as I do, and they can't do it because they, they don't have anything, all right? First off, I got this as a gift. This right here is a portable grill. 20 bucks at Walmart. Can't beat it. All right? Comes with the grill, everything, small, tiny, and on top of it, as you're grilling, get a cooler for beer. All right? There you go. Beer, soda, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. All right? I'm not going to do it to say anything. All right? Next, I go over to commissary, and I'm sitting there. I only have like 50 bucks in my wallet to go spend on food for the week. All right? So that's the great thing about the commissary. All right? The commissary is really cheap. Hell, all right? Carolina. Kansas City, all right. Memphis. And on top of it, Honey Barbecue, Jack Daniels, Brown Sugar, and Teriyaki, all a dollar. You can't beat barbecue sauce for a dollar, especially if you have nothing to actually marinate or anything to do with. All right. Go to Walmart, get yourself a pair of tongs, three bucks. Spatula, four dollars. Saute knife, very easy, keep it in your closet. It's pretty dull, it's for cutting up onions and pepper and so forth, so just cut it. Cutting board, $3. Plastic, cheap, whatever. Saute pan, $8. Goes right on the grill. Took up some onions and peppers with it. Alright. Got my peppers, red and orange, or this is orange, and green with my onion. All right, all right, on to the main course, all right. Like I said, I went over to the commissary. Here, I'm just gonna put on a little music so I'm doing my thing here in a minute. There you go. I'm an asshole. All right, now, first off, go over to the commissary over here in Oceana and you find $1.25 meats. All right, yeah, steak for a buck twenty-five. That's not really a good idea, but I will tell you that <clears throat> for the man on a budget, you need it. I'll fix my mind here. All right, there we go. Now, this one here, cheap, three twenty-five. All right, can't beat that. All right, this one here, five fifty-nine. All right, take a look at it. Right there. Mmm, so good. All right. And on top of it, it's a sirloin steak, top cut, not a bottom roast or anything, bottom rump roast. Stuff sucks, all right? And then I think the best find of the day was for 10 bucks, I get right here chicken breasts for a dollar each, pretty much. Boneless chicken breasts, $10 for the whole pack, and you get 10 in here. I'm eating for easily a week and a half just on the chicken alone. Then, of course, got my wieners, and then my wieners. That's right. All right. So the first thing we need to do is, oh, by the way, yeah, got some corn too. Can't go, can't have a barbecue without any corn, right? So I know you don't want to see my face, so I'm just gonna hide behind everything all the time. All right. What I do, because I don't like to spend money on Tupperware and I'm poor, so I go out and get Ziploc baggies. All right. Number one, I'm just gonna take this chicken and I'll put it in the freezer. I don't have time to cook all this chicken today. So I'm putting the shit in the freezer. Done. In the freezer. Right. Hot dogs. Sorry, man. Can't cook you today. But still. Yo, let's get them all. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Oh. Well, I forget. My awesome one. Yeah. Plank steak. Big boy. 13 bucks. Still. Cut this bad boy up and marinate it individually, and you can have pepper steak all fucking week if you want to. It's all up to you, however you want to prepare it. All right. Once again, going into the freezer. All right. Now this is a creation I did the other day. This is my Jack Daniel sauce. My Thick and spicy honey mustard, and of course, on top of it, my Memphis style. Alright? And 
You can't go wrong with a little bit of seasoning itself, and I go with Smokehouse Maple. Can't go wrong with it. Once again, buck twenty-five leaves a really good taste in your mouth, especially good aftertaste. Mm, it smells so good, you can smell for that. All right, I froze this. This is gonna be pepper steak. All right, this is the marinade. Put it all in. There you go. I took one of these little buck twenty-five, three-dollar steaks, cut it up, cut all the fat off of it, and then boom, here you go. All right, and all I was doing it right here, except I wasn't videotaping. I should have, but I did. And I was watching Doug. Yeah. Fuck. This is my cooking music, people. All right, put that back in the fridge. Cooking down a little later. All right, first thing we're doing. All right, I'm cutting up these onions. All right, we're gonna saute these bad boys a little later. But for now, just cut them up and dice them up for you here. Get you a good front row view here. You don't need to see my face. Yeah. Alright. Keep that one for later. And what I'll do is I'll just cut this bed board right in half. Cut them in half. Boom. There you go. It's all going towards pepper steak, and I like mine a little bit bigger. I don't know about y'all, but I just want my onions so I can actually grab them, taste them, and put them with the steak and pepper. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright. I don't know where this is from, but it sounds really cool. If y'all wonder why I'm wearing yellow tank top with buttons on them. Yeah, today's laundry day, go figure. So as my laundry's being done, here I am getting my shit ready. Everybody knows how to cut out a pepper, right? Just, just gonna ask here, cut out a pepper. Cut this out, cut right around it, cut down. Start scraping out all the crap on the inside. Trust me, you're not going to want it in there and it tastes a little, you know, hey, really peppery. You know, a little too much pepper for me, if you ask, but it's really soft. I've always said, you know, I was going to have my own little, little cooking show, but I was going to call it Extreme Cooking with Nate. You know, go outside, grab the charcoal grill, throw it all over the place, hit my neighbor, freak out, and do stuff like that. You know, maybe even try, you know, uh, fry some eggs while skydiving. Even though it's not physically possible because there's no flame. But, you know, I know you jump high enough and you crack an egg at a certain altitude. You don't know what the hell's going to happen, so it's worth a shot, right? Just tell me where you're from. What's your deal? Yes. Right. I don't care. The fuck? Garth Brooks? Who the fuck put Garth Brooks on my damn computer? Fuck that. There we go. Some CCR, can't go wrong with that either. Alright. Trash can. Speaking of looking for a job in the city, how's everyone doing on that front? Hope everyone's got a job. If not, I don't know how you're paying for your internet. If you wonder why I got it, you know. A little farm camp going on. <clears throat> uh, past two days here in Virginia has been pretty sunny, pretty nice, and I work outside on jets. So. But yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, so after I'm done cooking all this, uh, get all this stuff cut up, I'm going to post in a second for y'all. I'll show you how to saute, show you what I do. Alright. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the steak ready for the next segment. And that one's gonna be a good one because I everyone says when I cook, even you know, ask my family members, ask anybody, help will probably even post this on Facebook. They love my cooking. It's just I love doing it and I'm pretty much I'm the only one that I actually sit there and take the time and effort to actually put shit together and throw it together because I don't wanna sit there and make a steak and someone go, Ugh, what the fuck is this? Nasty. Mm -hmm. No, fuck that. 
good on my behalf. It's my name, that's what's on that steak. So I'm gonna make sure it's a good steak. Stay tuned. I don't know what I should do. Should I do Kansas City? Should I do Carolina? Put them together, make them both. Tastes good, trust me. Alright people, take care and I will see you guys in 10.